Welcome back to episode two of The Road to Grand Champ, possibly Grand Champ 2. If you haven't seen episode one yet, I definitely suggest going to watch that first. I'll leave the link in the description. But let's get on with the first game. So we've got Ryan and I'm going to call that guy Cellini. Um, I'm assuming left goes. I'll steal this boost from him. You always want to make sure you do that if you can get there first. Steal the boost off the other guy coming in. Because obviously then he's going back with no boost. I'll pass that back to my teammate as he's waiting middle. If Ryan had hit that, then it would have like been a 50-50. So it's always better to pass that. Now I just wait back as both my teammates are forward. I have no idea what happened to my car there. Just kind of glitched out. Again, wait back. Nice shot. Should be in. So they just overcommit on the other team. When the other team hit it away, you have to be ready for it. Okay, teammates go in, so I'll wait, and then I should have a good shot. Nice. So I just had to make sure I hit that with the front of my car because if I flip too early and it hits the top of my car, then obviously the shot won't be very hard. But you hit that high, high top. I mean, it's so difficult to save. But again, you just notice, I just wait back most of the time. You know, when my teammates are forward, I just wait back, get that boost from him. Like now, I just wait back, let them do their thing, wait for the hits. He's got a hit, so I wait, now I catch it. Teammate's got a free ball, because he had to commit and make, make a challenge. Unfortunately, my teammate can pass that to me. <clears throat> Good attempt. I blocked this because my teammate went up really slow. I could see that, and I didn't want my teammate to be left back in a 3v1. Make sure I get the block in. Now I head back, get some boost. Wait for the hit. Teammate's behind me, so I know he's got back post. So you want to try it. Oh, that's a good pass. I just had to make sure I hit that with the back of my car. Because if I hit that with the front of my car, I'm going to miss. But if I get round the ball and flip it with the tail end of my car, then I should get that angle. But you, you want to be aware of where your teammates are at all times. That's, I'd say, one of the most important things. Ready again for the fake kickoff. I'm going to make this hit the ceiling. And my teammate is there, and it's a good shot. <laughs> but the ceiling pass is a really good way to pass because it drops it straight down to where your teammate is. So if I try and hit that backboard, it's going to be an awkward read for him in that position. So we get another win. Okay, still Division 2. Right, and into game two. We we're against the two that we had on our team last game. And we've got old Greg and Stederman. Stederman. If I let my teammate go, just wait back. That's going to be a difficult wall clear, so I don't want to go to the wall. Just want to hit this to the side now and hopefully follow it. And I get demoed, but my team should be back. Wish they are. This is a difficult read for my teammate, so I've got to try and bail him out. But he actually does really well. Does a really good clear. Teammate does well to knock this to me. Now I can just control this. Worst case scenario is I'm taking one of the team out of the game. That's why it's really good to go for 50-50s. Now I want to get his boost there because he's going to get that flick on me. But if I can get his boost, then obviously it leaves him low. Get a demo. Takes my boost, but it relieves the pressure on us. Okay, now when you're back like that, the thing you don't want to do is panic and just dive at the ball. I thought my team was going to go back to goal there. But you just want to make sure you stay calm, take your time, and don't do any awkward hits. I cut my teammate off there, that was bad. Should oh wow. Okay, I should have scored that. That was a great pass. I'll go for the block here. My teammate looks like he was trying to get boost. So now I just want to waste time. Let my team get boost back in position. He make cuts, but I'll still go for the block. Take my time here. Go for an edge dribble. Hit it off backboard as he challenged. I was trying to hit that off backboard, but a little bump on the keeper. And he's there for the follow-up. Nice shot. So once I see somebody challenge, 
instead of getting a 50-50 trying to get a shot away, I just hit it onto the back ball for my team. And then as I come down, I see the goalie there, so obviously I want to try and get a bump on him. Teammate's not going to go, so I'll go. See, because my teammate's not there to make the dribble, I know he's going to try and hit it away, but if I can get the dribble, then it obviously um, stops pressure. I baited out the hit, my teammate follows up. I hit this off to my other teammate. So all that I did there was just pass it middle because I see my second teammate coming in and then uh, he's got a shot and uh, it's actually a really good shot. Nice goal. Let's go. Now just wait back. I'll go for this because he's got a double touch attempt. I don't know how I got that boost, but I did. I'll take this, try and dribble him, and then my little hook shot, and we make it 3-0. Three I just fake this, and then my teammate can go. So a little fake jump. Oh, that's a really good clear. I didn't think he'd get that. Now I just wait. They hit it high. Teammate's there, so I'll get back. He's coming for a demo. That's way too obvious. He's not going to give me that demo. Come on now. Now I just fake challenge. Hit it up. They've overcommitted again. So teammates go in, so I pull out of that. I'm just trying to bait in touches, you know, by fake jumping and fake challenging. And that will bait in the other team to hit the ball. And my teammates can be there to capitalise. Okay, he's getting that boost. <laughs> we both left it for each other. It's all good then. I got it. I'll wait back now. I don't want to commit for that because my teammates are forward. But I can commit for this. Get hit forward and nice try. Okay, this guy's going on a demo rampage. All good though, we're back. So now I just want to take my time because obviously we're in a sticky situation. So the, the worst thing that you can do there is hit it out. You just want a little control, take your time, and then it gives your team time to get in position and get boost. Hit this to the side, is this dangerous? Teammate should have this. Get back to goal. Bedman should be getting back to goal, but I think that was a good shot. But I think he's uh, AFK. The only way I'm saving this is if I pre jump, which I didn't do. Obviously, if you pre jump and the person, the other team, know you pre jump, they can always hit it under you. So it's a difficult save, but it's all good. Now somebody else is AFK, and there we go. 3 1. That was a bit of a messy game, I've got to be honest. You just got, like I say, you just got to play smart. You, know, you just got to rotate the best that you can. If ever in doubt, just rotate back post. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.